Hello there everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 in which we're using the No Step Back DLC playing as Congressional Kingdom of Poland. I'm your host, Mr. Uh, Romanov Lover. Yeah, totally, totally the last Romanov. Totally. But right now, um, it is May 17th, 1939. And we're going to go to war with the Soviet Union because we can. And actually, we're going to go to war with this group here and see if we can also go to war with this group here too because... Uh, it's not going to be great fighting both sides, but whatever, we want to make sure that we are at war with a major power. So this way we can get some more army XP, we can raise the conscription level, and maybe even go to war economy eventually. Um, we don't have a lot of time, seeing as the Germans do want to take us out. Now, I did annex Yugoslavia now, because this is my third attempt doing this. In which, well, let's just say the Germans like to have a little bit of a kerfuffle with us uh, eventually over Yugoslavia. So maybe if, if Yugoslavia doesn't exist... Well, maybe something else will change, and our soldiers aren't quite on the border yet, but that's okay. We do get some supplies from America, which is also very, 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 very nice. If you guys could go there, that'd be a phenomenal. Please make it over there. Please make it over there. Come on, please make it over there. Force the attack if you have to. I really, truly, not, truly do not care. And if we don't win here yet, that's fine. Whatever. Now we're gonna go right here. Now I'll give them extra support. That's good. Good stuff. And see, look, now we got some more arm XP. Yay! What do we have over here? And these guys just... You guys can train on the Hungarian border because they're in the Axis as well. That's fine with us right here too. Um, yeah, overall not bad. We've got to make sure we kill enough of these guys off that we can do. Okay. Hmm, help kill these guys off first as well. Good. Kill them off, kill them off, kill them off. This is quite unfortunate. But oh well. Good. Keep them in there, keep them in there, and all you guys just go straight into this tile. Oh, there goes Armenia. Goodbye, Armenia. This is a little bit of an issue here, just because um, they're really strong. They're really flipping strong there for some reason. So we got to make sure we kill them all off and have a good time with them. You know, continue forcing the attack, though. Because if they cannot retreat, if they cannot move anywhere to get more organization, then they will literally all die. That's how we operate here. Uh, description, thank you. And we're still doing Central Defense of Poland. Up next, we can demand Pomerania, which we'll probably say no, but we're going to do the Sudeten Mountaineers. Sudeten Land is an insecure border, but also provides a unique defensive position. By training made of mastered mountain warfare, we'll be able to outmaneuver the Germans in the lofty peaks of Zalzi. Oops, let's, let's go to the right. 139. Do we need guns? No, we're good on guns. Alpha, we're good on Alpha. Let's get some more resource efficiency, extraction gain, that type of deal. You all switch over to this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do the best we can, because we are still fighting Denmark. Very weird, I know. Very, 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 very weird. But we are fighting Denmark. And we're going to be winning that war, hopefully, anyways, against the Soviet Union, because I've done it before. Actually, twice already, off-screen. Um, yeah. You cannot afford to lose right now. Do not lose. Do not lose. Do not stop attacking. Seriously. Defensive pull, not bad. How much do we need? 50? Oh my gosh, 52. This is actually not very good, is it? No, it's not. Should not have forced attack so early on. Come on, I don't care how many horses die here. I really don't. Oh my god, you should have them done by now. Do not give them a single thing of organization. Seriously, look at that. Oh, Greece admits that's not good. Yeah, I don't care what happens. We're going to continue doing this until they all die. These guys can be as tired out as they want to be. Oh, sure, guys, we do that. There you go. Now it's green. Piece of garbage horses. How dare you disobey my orders? Come on. Come on. Why is this so, place so god awful to take? They have no forts here. It literally makes no sense. Yeah, that's quite a few divisions, but still. These horses are not bad. Well, they're 20 combo with, which is okay. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? How many have we lost? It's not bad. 31,000 is not bad at all. Oh, there you go. Finally, you can do it, you piece of garbage horses. Jesus Christ. That's <laughs> so stupid. So incredibly stupid. They just refuse to listen. But well, we got some Panzers. And we want to go quickly through the Soviet Union. So we got to come down here and do this too. And just move, 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 move. But at least they're done and taken care of. Uh, we'll probably throw these guys actually back towards this area. What the heck? Oh, you dongs. 
Uh, AI front lines, man. Not even once. If anything, you guys come here too. All right, so now we're building all this stuff. We're building up a lot of forts here, just in case. I uh, must have built up some cities as well. Long Yun, very nice. Anything else down here? We definitely need more military factories, though. Mm. We need more guns too. Uh, sure, guys, sure. It's fine. Air doctrine, good. Do, do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm as well. Good, they died there, which is very, very good. I need you guys to move as fast as humanly possible for the forces. The IMRO is back. Reliable resources or sources of formats that the IMRO have crossed the border armed with Bulgarian weapons and are organizing an anti Polish movement in the Macedonian regions. There's no longer a core of us. What? Back in the early 30s. Oh. <clears throat> Persecute? Persecute. We need more support equipment, huh? Well, we're not going to be there. Actually, can we just give it to Bulgaria? For now, I don't mind just giving it to Bulgaria. Here, you can have it. I don't want to deal with it. That's just extra resistance that we don't need, so. Uh, there goes uh, Mexico. Belgard. If you move quickly enough through there, you should be able to cut all of these soldiers off. Are you kidding me? Why is it so difficult right now? Like, I've done this three times. Every single time, it's been pretty easy. We already have Leningrad, too. Moscow is ours as well. Come on, man. I haven't been able to evade it yet. But now that I said it, we probably will be. Good. Cut them all off. Kill them all off. We've lost 48,000. Still working on army XP. Uh, we've done 56% of all the war score participations, which is pretty good. 70%. They have a lot of divisions, but their divisions are actually really god awful, so. And again, we are trying to go to war with these guys as well. Because we need Iran under us. So we'll see. See so how long we have before the Germans start knocking on us. Come on, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's why we sent the horses here too. Also, if the peace when the peace does fire, because this is technically a civil war, we won't get anything here. So I think that's a bunch of crap. So we're gonna use the state structure tool mod and edit things just a little bit to make it a little bit more fair. Because if we're at war here, then we should get some stuff too. Like that just doesn't make, doesn't make any sense. Why we wouldn't? I don't care if it's a, uh, if it's a civil war or not. That's just not a lot of fun. But after this one, oh, expand Warsaw University. Warsaw University is where most of Poland's greatest minds tend to teach, learn, and broaden Poland's technological capabilities by investing in the expansion of the university, which shall have seats for yet more minds and things to strengthen the Polish state, which is a good thing. Good thing. Work on fuel because we're gonna need some fuel too. <clears throat> Good. Cut them off. Completely cut them off. All right. Now we can go to work. Oh, we can't go to work. Okay, okay then maybe not. Well, we're gonna go this way actually and get this guy so we can get some more daily support for unaligned because we need a lot more support for the house of Romanov, just so that we can go to total mobilization eventually and not get penalized too hard. So. Main goal is to get to Stalingrad right now, too. Come on, just capitulate, man. We have 66% of the war score. It's a bit ridiculous, to say the least. So on September 2nd, which is good. Still putting up more force when we return to the east, where soldiers will still be okay. Any upgrades? Infantry specialist? Eh, I think we already have one of those, maybe. <clears throat> Now we're going to get navally invaded. Oh, we are seeing some cowboys, though. Any other upgrades? Oh, boy. Oh, crap. That's not good. It's September. I mean, what do we expect? Don't let them land. Don't let them land. Death and Sire Bors the third. Oh, they landed. God dang it. Well, actually, you guys are here, so we can use you guys to do this. Is Germany at war with the Allies yet? I think they are, right? Yeah, the French and the Italians are killing each other still. So. Hmm. It's a little way too ahead of time for that one. Uh, what do we want here? I bet engineers would be good. Oh, we won! Okay, so for peace deal like this, we don't get any of the Soviet Union, which is crap, which means I'm going to be taking stuff anyways. Well, we'll just take this, because we can. Okay, maybe not. I'm going to take Mongolia, because I don't care. 
I'll probably just take everything because I, I just don't care. Genetuva. And this group too. Thank you. <clears throat> so they give all these soldiers. Oh, no, we're not. We're looking pretty good. Actually, we just pushed straight under them. Well, that's hopefully the goal. That's hopefully the plan before the Germans start knocking on us. So we'll do that if we can. And your goal is to go all the way. All the way if we can. End of the second West Russian Civil War. Wait, what? Why, why this cancel? Uh, we have more than 50 owned factories, so... Thanks for resting your time, game. Prussian Garb. Our border with Prussia is woefully undefended. All of our investments in the Prussian fortifications will mean nothing without soldiers manning the forts. So, oh my god. Why are you so slow? Why are you so slow? Down to the Asian Defense League. Um, Wait, why did China join? Well, I mean, they're probably going to die to the Japanese anyway, so. Sorry, guys, but you're going to force the attack. And hopefully these guys keep doing quite well. Denmark join. Uh, sure, guys. That's fine with me, too. Um, commerce trading. Sure, why not? Not bad. This guy's doing relatively okay. Never thought Polish stuff would do this well. You really should be able to win over here because these soldiers are not. Oh, uh, I think mm, Japan. Mm, Japan. <clears throat> I don't know about that right now. Uh, I don't know about that. As much as I want to join you, Japan. Actually, that's not too bad. Even communist China is in. This is so weird. We could get them to fight up here too. Let's wait first. I want if we're gonna join. I want the Japanese to be close to being at the Chinese first. This is probably going to go very poorly, but then again, this is my, literally my third attempt doing this, so... You know, what do you expect? Go all the way. It's nice. <clears throat> Forget why we're awarded Denmark, though. Oh, they're still trying to invade us, huh? Well... Invade Gdansk, yeah, or Gdansk. Look into the mill here. And kills. How are we not winning here? Because these divisions are actually very, 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 very bad. That's the only one of the few divisions that are actually okay, so. Excuse me, game. Um, I told you to have a front line, and then you chose not to? What the heck? Hold, hold. Hold. Oh my god. <sighs> Fighting in Russia sucks. It just sucks so much. Because realistically, we do need Moscow. And supplies are just so bad. So bad. So yeah, we'll probably join the Japanese faction, maybe. We'll see. How do they get supplies that we don't? Where's supply base? Don't worry about attacking for now. How are they winning? Like, literally, their, their divisions are crap. They're literally just crap. Um, go over there, too. Guatemala submitted. Sorry, it's in. It's fine. Because they get a lot of extra, extra manpower, but I'm not really concerned about the manpower. Oh, they have a lot less divisions. They have no, they have no equipment either. And over here, go with Ambusher. That makes more sense for us right now. Honestly, you should be able to push out if you guys are attacking. See if you can help them out too. I do think upgrade. Let's go with this one too. That'd be very good. Yeah, you should easily be able to kill them off. Easily, 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 easily. They do have a couple tanks though, which is not very good, but whatever. 
We've lost 35,000. They've lost how many? 80,000. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, the horses are doing quite well, actually. Which they should be. If you can't push all the way down there to cut them off, that'd be great. They're attacking us. We're attacking them. Um, new military academy would be pretty good. Uh, our high command lay is barren and empty, but this leaves a golden opportunity to plant the seeds for the future, ensuring that our future generals are loyal to our nation and highly educated in the art of war. By funding military and academies across the nation, we'll ensure that any new Polish officers are of higher caliber than any of their predecessors. That just sounds pretty good. There we go, war economy now. That's good stuff. Mm, same to the front line. And you guys will just kind of guard the area. Hopefully the Germans don't attack. I mean, we're really risking it here, making sure that Germans don't attack us, so. Oh, they will demand a mail. You know what, I'll just give them a mail. That's fine. I will gladly just give him a mail then. This is a giant mess. I mean, we're, we're, we're really out of... Actually, we have a thousand guns, huh? Come on, we need Saritsen. We gotta get Saritsen. It's so dumb. If we cannot get Saritsen, we're, we can't do anything here. Are they close at all? Oh, they're halfway. They're 64% already. It's not bad. It's not bad, actually. A lot of green, too. A lot of green. I don't want to force the attack just yet. I don't want to get your guys too weak. Uh, we don't have enough air bases around here, too. Oh, well, it looks like... Oh. Second Chris Diada. Oh, go in, go in. Three. Three. What? Why was it three? Go, Polish cavalry, go. Anything there? No. Four, five. The northern front is really bad. It just got awful. Hmm. Keep attacking. Oh, come on. Oh, we got Sartsen. Thank God we got Sartsen. Oh my God, we got the supply point. Which means they should be starving extremely like we were for supplies. So th that should be the case. All right, everyone. So now, which is 1940, June 12th. Um, I've done a couple more focuses, and I've had to do a couple funky things off screen to make sure that we don't die to the Germans, so... But we're doing that Prussian line. East Prussia is a key invasion point for the Germans and a great gap in our current defenses. By expanding our fort lines along the Prussian border, our armies will be more capable of defending our nation from the threat to the north. I think we're the Prussian Guard as well, but Silesia, fortified area. More forts constructed in the south will secure additional defenses. The hell fortified area. By fortifying key areas, we make ourselves less vulnerable should war come again to our shores and borders. You know, I do want to do Slavic unity eventually, too... Oh, we need to man Pomerania first. Actually, we'll do that one first. Pomerania was once part of the Polish state and now remains in German hands. Though few believe that we have a chance, we must cast it down and take what is ours. So I basically had to use cons commands, basically, to be honest with you guys, uh, because the Germans want to go to war with us. Obviously, it's 1940. Um, but I'm not going to. I, I don't care. I, I really don't care. This has just been one gigantic mess and been somewhat frustrating, I'll be honest. Very quite frust frustrating. You're just trying to get this done. Trying to go down this route, and it's just not... It's, it's, I would say it's not fun. It's just frustrating. That's all it is. It's just frustrating. Would I recommend it? Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. So There you go. Not bad. And we did take out the Romanian soldiers to defend our borders. Ukraine did go to war with us, which did suck, but... Oh, well. And actually, how close are we now? They have only 74 divisions left, which is pretty good. Oh, up to 74. 90% of the way there. I mean, we killed off half a million of them, which is pretty nice. The Allies are at war with... Somebody here? I'm not sure who. We lost 200,000 soldiers as well. What happened here? So why are they fighting the allies? Oh. oh, it's because they're in the Asian Defense League. And Japan's actually doing really, really well. But I don't want to join their faction, so... We'll see. Belarus did cancel the non-aggression pact. We're going to man Pomerania. Oh, or... we are start the Commonwealth first. Yeah, I'm going to do that one first. Well, then Anastasia Romanov as king of both Poland and Lithuania, all that remains to be is to once again merge the Simos with this gem, and the polish Lithuanian Commonwealth will be born anew. Get some immediate cores, for the love of God. <laughs> and since we're down here, just go ahead and just help them out down here, too. Because we're still at war with Iran, so. This has just been one gigantic mess, and it's been, hmm. It's definitely been, hmm. But our ships are still alive. I'm very surprised that all of our ships survived so far. Very, very surprised. Do they have any divisions left? They have up to four. Okay. That's cool. We've gotten quite a bit of army XP2 here. Oh, that sucks. No... Hopefully the horses can move quickly through down here and we get to Baku quickly. That's what I want. I want Baku. Go here, guys. Let's go there. Go to Yevron. Because we're so close to capitulating them. 97% of the way there. 97% of the way there, man. Oh, Kelly, that Division 2. Thank you very much. Why are you all over here, man? But yeah, this has been very annoying. 
It's, it's, it's frustrating playing as Poland, because you're just not that good. You're literally just not that good. Unless you're in Kai's Redux, and you have, like, plus 20 entrenchment. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, if you saw that campaign. Oh, my God. Force it. Force all the Russians to die. Because even though we might not be winning here a whole bunch, we're definitely winning over on this front. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Natural defense fund? Oh, that sucks. So we're making the last, but uh, we're still doing okay. -ish. Two men? Uh, you guys can go there. We'll go to two men next. Sure, guys, that's fine. Ooh, 100 air XP, not bad. If you can beat him up, I mean, I, I appreciate it. Cool. Why did you have to get in circle, man? Why? Just give it up, Russia. Jesus Christ. 98% of the way there. Okay, we saved that division. That's good. Hmm. These guys, all these guys are in circle too, which is pretty nice. Don't move. Oh, I guess we have the allies in our borders too. It's fine, whatever. Anything else? Total mobilization? No, we can't even go to this one. That's kind of sucks. Oh, that's a good one. Yes, kill them off. Continue killing them all off. Fourteen divisions. Holy crap, man! How many guns are we out? Casually fourteen thousand. That's just not that bad, considering what it could be. Nice job, guys. Do we win? Oh my god, we actually won. Thank God. Thank the Lord. Oh, thank God. I hated this so much. But it was, could have been a lot worse. All right, so let's give whatever we want to give to the Japanese first. Allies get nothing. They didn't do anything, pretty much. But now we've got to get ready for the war against the Germans. And that's going to be frustrating, too. Mm, China. There you go. Uh, you can have Sen Kyung as well. And is that it? Is that be Uh Other than that... I'm going to take everything here, pretty much. There's going to be a lot of resistance here. Oh, we get Denmark, too. That's that's very weird. Thank God we annexed Yugoslavia earlier. Oh, my gosh. We need Iran, if I remember correctly, and just take everything here, too. Because the Japanese actually weren't at war with them. So we take everything. But now, if I remember correctly, we do need to go to war with uh, the Axis and be at war with, specifically... Uh, Italy. Actually, can we just go kill these guys off first? Actually, uh, how many divisions do they have? Excuse me. Excuse me, game. Come on. Uh, let's see. No. Uh, the horses might be able to take them out by themselves, actually. So now, instead of doing a front line with 62 divisions, which is not enough, we're probably not going to have enough divisions here. I pretty much can guarantee you we already don't have enough divisions for this. Kosic. I'm not going to defend Romania. Not bad. Hey, we're done with the land auction at least. Hey, that's good. That's actually really good. Anything else here? Oh, this guy's got really experienced. Boslav WD. <laughs> WD, huh? WD. There you go. Seven more divisions down here hanging out. Um, yeah. I'll probably just throw it here. There you go. Thanks for joining the party. I don't want these guys in our way, so I'll do that too. 105 days. Oh my goodness. But now we're building up stuff, 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 some more, 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 more. Occupied territories. Or, oh my gosh, 64. That's pretty bad. Well, we're going to need a lot more guns now. Holy crap. Cancel on grip. Wait, what? Hello. Hello. Oh, they're still fighting it over there. Well, they're probably going to just, just fight on us now. As long as we have no more surprises. We probably can't do anything over here, too. And improve artillery. I did make the combo with a little lower, didn't I? I think 18 combo is actually the sweet spot that we want. I could be wrong about that, but... We'll definitely see. So you guys can't do that, which is fine. You guys come over here, do that, help hold out. Oh, and a two. Um, there you go. Not bad, not bad. And then we'll demand Pomerania, which will not bypass. Uh, which is very weird. When you we do go to war with the Germans, which is very odd. And maybe go we'll join the Allies? Maybe not. Probably not. Just because we need to be the leader of our own faction. So, a couple days left. We get some more Polish. All Polish cores, of course. We already have that. But all Lithuania and Latvians, we get slightly more manpower, slightly more factories, slightly less resistance to deal with, which is very, 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 very important. Uh, all that stuff is good. I get more defense immediately because we're going to need more defense. Congressional Commonwealth's Rebirth. Oh. Polish Lithuanian Railways. Spend Lithuanian Shipyards. Demand Pomerania. 
because because we can do this one pretty much immediately. Proclaim self unity once we uh huh get this one done. So with all of Russian and Polish territory under control, we stand and achieve what no Tsar has achieved before us. With the consent and approval of both Russians and Poles, we can proclaim the unification of the Slavic peoples. Not bad. With 150 here. Oh, that's looking a lot better. Look at that. 205? Why is it so good now? I mean, supplies are got awful, but resistance is still not... Well, it's actually not too bad. We got some 20s around here. Oh, do we... They're not cores. They're just occupied states. Yeah, Kablaz is going a lot higher than I thought it would be. Hmm. It's not like she's giving us extra compliance. No. I guess we do have 100% stability, which... Yes. <laughs> Getting stability is so important. Oh, my gosh. The Guangxi clique. Oh, right now. Bad rubber. British Malaya. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe that's not bad. Greater Bulgarian Federation. So maybe they're not joining the Axis in this timeline, which isn't good for us. Axis do be looking kind of thick. They do have Albania. They do have Greece with them. They do have these guys as well. I just hope to God we can hold out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We did build a lot of forts around here, so... I just hope it's enough for the love of God. Ooh, some of these are level 2. I didn't realize they were level 2 forts, too. I'm just worried about pressure. They didn't even ask for a Mamel. Uh, level 5 is already pretty good. Slightly more forts around this area, because I'm going to abandon Romania as soon as we can. So, And then definitely do uh, Prussia. Level 4 is pretty decent already, I'm not going to lie. Go 2, go 2, go 2 more, 2 more, 2 more, 2 more, 2 more. There you go. See what we can do. Alright, so let's save just in case, because this is, this is going to get god awful. We're going to lose all the ships, all 5 ships that we have. I mean, it's only 5 ships, it's not very much, but that's okay. But still. But still, this is a huge but. Radar's not bad. 1940. Uh, go and come over here and do this one too. Guns looking not bad. Anti tank is not looking bad either, actually. We could probably use a lot of anti tank. Support going is looking pretty bad though. Get some anti tank. Why not? Put them on the. Not the Garys, but these guys. Oh, where do we have anti air? Eh, that's already pretty good. You know what? If anything, remove one so you're still 18 combo with. Because I've heard that's probably better, so I could be wrong. I could be very wrong about that, but. Keep the political power for now. Uh, we're going to probably move it immediately to service by requirement, maybe? No, maybe not. Mm. Chief of the Navy. Ooh, old Guard. Commerce rating. We can get more daily XP. And eh, I'll get commerce rating, why not? Get, start working on some naval experience. Revolution posturing. These guys are still technically fighting the outlets. Oh, they have a lot of guys here, though. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, my God, France. Oh, my God, France. Can't... The Danzig of War. The German Reich has long publicized their goal of reclaiming the territories they lost in the Great War. In particular, they look to the territory of Danzig, which separates Ostpreußen from the rest of the nation. Now they demand that Danzig be ceded to the German Reich, in exchange for uh, offer nothing but a promise to weigh the claims on Poznan. With the threat of war looming, accepting the offer will delay the possible conflict, but at the cost of freely granting the Germans more strength for whatever lies ahead. Mm, I, did, I know I would just say, but I like the same option. Oh, I forgot about Denmark, too. We could have defended uh, Denmark from the Germans, but let's make a deal. Maybe they'll turn elsewhere. Yeah, they probably won't. Danzig remains Gdansk. I'm going to go to war with us immediately, which is fine. I do not want... There they go. Uh, they join the Allies. Is there any point to join the Allies? I mean, they're just going to fight the Japanese eventually, and that's not very good for us. They do have military access to other nations, though. Hmm. We could join the Allies, but that's not going to help us out. We need to be in our own faction and be in our faction leader, so... Oh, they are attacking mighty fierce. Is there anything else we could do here? War bonds, probably. Can you guys go in? If you guys could, that'd be great. I do not want to call in Romania. Ooh, yeah. Definitely do that. You guys could actually maybe win here, too. That'd be pretty good. Yeah? Yeah? More divisions? Or another division? Greece has been called in, yeah? Yeah? Non-aggression packs? Yeah? Yeah? You guys actually win here, that'd be awesome. Tarun. Just don't lose the front line. Because God, France is sucking so hard right now. Why? What? Well, you just gave it to us and you, you canceled us. Guys, please. Come on, guys. They're not that difficult to kill off. Please. Please. Oh, watch out, the Mexican Junta's been called in. Okay, so we're losing everywhere here, so hold. Uh Hungary's been called in, which is not good. 
Is Romania being called in? Are they fighting the war? No. And we're not going to call them in. Oh, this is really bad. How are they pushing so hard against us? I hate this so much, man. You think it'd be easier if they... How? How? I know they have air superiority, but still. No. Because I don't want the allies to call in our allies as well. So, get the hell out of here, Germany. Come on, you wanted to attack our front. Then attack our front, you pieces of garbage. But not like that. <laughs> um, let's do 40 stuff. Ooh, armor trains, yeah. Probably good to get that stuff. Good. To empty air. Oh, we can launch so they continue attacking us there. Repeats to see territory. As predicted, the Germans have rejected Anastasia Romanov's demands, believing them to be some kind of elaborate practical joke. With diplomacy failing to sway the German Reich, Anastasia Romanov mounted his horse and rode for the border, personally taking this matter into the hands of the military. Our demands will be met on the battlefield. <laughs> Alright, whatever. <laughs> Good luck with that. And then, post the hell fortified area probably still want to do that one too. Andres is gone. Watch out. Watch out, Andres is gone. Yeah, you can't really do much against as Poland here. Oh, we just took out Russia, but still. Uh, sure, we'll take stuff. Yeah, go to war with Belgium. Go to war with Switzerland, not us. Just do not call Romania in the war. Oh my god, please do not call Romania. If Romania gets called in the war, then we're kind of screwed a little, so... And that's not good. It's not a good screwing. I hope they like a lot of resistance. They don't have a lot of resistance. How's Italy doing? Why are the allies so weak? Oh, they're out of manpower. Good. They have a million over here. Oh my gosh. How did they take out eh, the French? Why are the French so bad? Why do the French suck so much? Well, we can go to war with those guys for now if we really wanted to. But we're probably not going to. Probably not. Hmm. We need rubber, right? Oh, actually. Oh, that's nice. We need another city to use as well. More factories would be good too. But keep working on this stuff as well. Um, What do we want? Gun stuff? Material designer? Research speed? Or maybe more mobilization. Of course, to get down here, you need to do this and do that with the women in the workplace. Uh, okay, so we can do that instantly. Because you need to have, be not a lot, and more than 84% war support, and more than 70% stability, which we do have. So we save our political power and go to total mobilization. Because, I mean... Oh, crap, that's not good. We quite literally need to go total mobilization. Alright, so that's the case. Do this anyways. Do that. Um, and do not guard the entire line because that would be a waste of resources. There you go. So basically, just don't move. Literally, just don't move. There are two divisions here. Can we actually win here? You actually might be able to. We're not that weak. Maybe. Just maybe. Oh god, they're still attacking us here. Oh, don't, don't, don't let them take the capital. Why are there so many divisions here? My god. Why? Go in. I know you can go in here. I know you can. Mm, yeah, not right there. Mm, here, maybe. Yeah, but probably not. We'll see. And if things are going to get really too funky, I'm just going to do some funky stuff off screen then, just because this is unfair. It's completely unfair, man. Why are the allies so bad? We can win there, though. That's pretty nice. Why do you suck so much, France? How much manpower does the France have? Does the French have? Honestly, I should play as France again. I've played those before. I've held out against the Germans before and the Italians at the same time. They're not that god awful. It's just the AI sucks so badly. It just sucks so badly. You left them over the river. Well, we're, we're, we're screwed. We're dead. We're dead. We lose some. Sh no, we're still some convoys. I'm, I'm actually really proud of the Navy here. I'm actually somewhat proud of them. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. This is a fat no for me, son. God, I want Kranzberg so badly. Can you guys just make the over there? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, yes. If we could just take Kranzberg. Hey, guys, if you really want to move through there, that's fine with me, but what are the losses like so far? France, please do not die. Oh, we've lost 68,000. We've killed off 165,000 Germans. Um, not really any Greek boys. Makes sense that we didn't kill any Mexicans. A couple Hungarians, and not really any Italians. Good job, guys. Keeps. Oh, we lost two ships. But hey, skill level 5. Not bad. Not bad. 
Yeah, you guys attacking here, probably not the best of ideas, but whatever. Um, over here, they're still attacking us. Can you actually win here? Yes, yes. Hello, anyone else over here? No, level 5 though. Not bad, not bad. Logistics would be very nice though. Can you guys actually win here? You honestly should be able to. I guess they just threw another division in there too, but still. But still. Hey, nice job. You're probably going to lose on the defense though. Guys, you wanted to go to war with us, and then you stopped attacking. Why? Glavitz? Well, alright. And that's level 1 fort. That's, uh, they're not looking super well equipped right now. Uh, you never know. You never know. I feel like there's more soldiers in the in East, Prussia, East Prussia than anywhere else. Keep working on it. We'll get them. We'll get there. I promise we'll get there. Just don't die, France. Please, for the love of God, do not die. Oh, that's not good. Mm, yeah, it looks like they're lacking some sort of equipment here. Which I applaud. I love it. Because we're looking okay. We need more support equipment. We need more entrenchment, probably. Out of everything else that we don't really have already, but still. Tile by tile, we got to move as fast as we can for now. Um... Supply base is here somewhere. Level 1. We have two guys here. I want to attack here, but we just don't have the guys for it. You guys get over here too. Yeah, good. Yeah. Go there. You actually go there and win. Oh, if I could just sneak over to Königsberg. Oh my god, that'd be so good. That'd be so good if we could just sneak over, man. Horses are there, but they probably like... Oh my god, I want it so badly. Where austerity is okay. It is 1941, so happy 41, everybody. If you could just take the tile. If you could just take it. Please. Oh my god, they're attacking us. Oh, they're attacking us here. Just period. Oh, no, no, no. You want to hold it. You want to at least not lose. Just don't lose. But they want to attack us. Hmm. hmm. Oh, they are attacking the front a little bit more now, which is nice to see. Hmm. Just don't lose here. Go in. If we lose here, then we're going to move into this tile. It's still beneficial for us. Very beneficial. Actually, if anything, you guys go here then. Screw these people. You want to attack us? All right. I'll do that. Go in if you can. It's time to move in if you can. Leave no one untouched. Because we like touching people. Hmm. Hold. Go in here. So This area is not doing great-ish. But they're, no, they're doing it better than I thought they would. I'll be honest. They're doing better than I thought they would. Still attacking around here. Still holding around here. That's good. Good, good, good. Get Königsberg if we possibly can. Or this top first, and then Königsberg. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, more factories. Yes. Fighters would be nice. Um, after that, how many guns do we have? We actually have 20,000 guns in stockpile. Thank God they went to war with the, uh, the Benelux for now. But once they come back, that's going to be really bad for us. Unfortunately, we're now out of... Uh, coffee. So now we're going to lose. We've been making a lot of empty tank. Holy crap. This is honestly not looking too bad. Compared to what it was earlier. Now let's just go to total mobilization. We're close. Oh, we're going to get some cores too. Oh, please, please, please get those cores. Cores, 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 cores. Nice. Stop attacking. Hold out, allies. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look at that. The Slavic Union. Now that's nice. Now that's fat and nice. Hell, fortified area. Oh, we changed the flag, too. Through Ruthenia. Merge arms industries. Oh, that stuff looks okay. Oh. Greater Lithuania? Well, kind of already did that. Uh, with the Between the Seas concept, maybe. Or do I want to try to go back and do this? No, we can't even do that one. That sucks. Well, maybe we'll do invest in Eastern Poland. The least is barren in a desolate place, neglected entirely by both the Russians and the Polish state. That's a plethora of ideal locations for factories, and plenty of men with which to work them, should we choose to invest in such things, of course. Oh, we got a lot more factories now. Now that's nice. Uh, get more planes. You get a lot more planes. The bombers are going to be super necessary, too. So, yeah. Uh, not bad. We need more rubber, though. Which is fine. We're going straight away. More factories, please. Great. Yeah. I mean, this is totally not, like, the super legit way to do it, but... I mean, it still worked out for us. And I don't care about achievements, so. There you go. Nice. Oh my god, look at all those factories we have. 
since these are all cores, here, build a lot more civvies. I build a lot more rubber. Lots of rubber. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is literally my third or fourth attempt doing this. Like, it's been annoying doing this uh, part of the campaign. Just the campaign in general. Just because fighting the Russians, the Soviets, as well as the Germans, as Poland in Vanilla Hoi 4, not easy. And it shouldn't be easy. Like, I'll be honest, it's not, it's not supposed to be easy because. The Germans are equipped to do very well. Also, I forgot we took Iran. <laughs> Now, if anyone attacks us, if any other faction tries to attack us, we're kind of screwed. Because as you can see, we're already kind of stretched out to our max. Having 286 factors is not bad. I do apologize taking so long for this. I just want to build up the roads. The roads are super important. There you go. I just want to connect the east with the west. After the war, the Germans are over. Um, we've got some things to do as well. We create our own faction too. <gasps> go, 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 go. No! Take it, take it, take it, for the love of God, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, Yes! Oh, we got it, we got it, go in, go, oh, yes, 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 we got him, we got him, we got him. Oh, uh, I kind of figured that would happen eventually, too. It has been called in, oh, watch out. Oh, we got him, we got him, I can't believe we actually got him. Oh, look at those divisions, all those divisions, oh, they're all gonna die. Oh, they're all gonna perish. We have so much manpower now, holy crap. We have a core population of almost 200 million people. Jesus Christ, oh, that's so nice. Even though we're demobilizing, I don't care. God dang, these convoys. Or these subs. We should get some sub threes. Yeah, we should get some sub threes. Um, actually, you guys have done phenomenal. Oh, I love it. Oh, actually, ooh, that's not good too. Okay, good. Yeah. Ooh, just in case. You know what? The the, the AI will do something stupid up here, so. Oh, wait, what? How do we... You know what? I'm not going to question this. We're doing well over here anyways. I'm not going to question it. You know, I'm not going to question that. Oh my god. I am so happy. Look at this. We actually did this. We actually got in here. Look at all these divisions. So over here, they have 6, 8, 12, 14. 14 plus 6 is 22 divisions over here. Oh my gosh. Yes. A thousand times yes. No, we can't quite win here yet, but that's fine. No, hold. Let him starve. They can have Allenstein for now, but they're going to be starving like crazy. They're still attacking us a little bit. Oh, thank God the Benelux has not died. Thank God they went to war with Switzerland. Oh, Turkey's fighting these guys too. Wait, is Turkey and the Axis are allies? Oh, they're by themselves. Oh my gosh. Oh! Well, there goes that alliance. Not bad. I was like getting all these done before we do complete plan west. Except join the allies. I'm not going to though. Oh, there's Luxembourg. That's not good. Well, let's do the between the seas concept, yeah. The Joseph Pelsutsky had an ambition for an alliance of nations spanning between the seas. Poles, Romanians, former Commonwealth members, and even Italians working together to ensure there's mutual continued survival while giving an inch on the sovereignty. Now we stand in a position to fulfill Pelsutsky's daring vision by reaching out to Romania. We'll make the first step in making the inner Tamarium a reality. Are you guys ready to die? Uh, do we want women in the workplace? I mean, we're going to lose a lot of guys. We lose a little stability. Get more population back. We should be okay without doing it. We should be okay without doing it, right? Probably invest in other things first, though. Costa Rica doing the allies. Um, also doing revolutionary organizations. Persecute. Armor trains are nice. And we do want some subs. Better subs. Nice. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Um, if that's the case, I want to get you guys convert you guys. Okay, that's fine. Um, what is this? Field Marshal. It's not bad. But, yeah. Another horse, baby. Here we going. All in. All force the attack. Oh boy. Oh boy. Sorry guys, not interested. Oh, we have a lot of army speech. Look at that. We should use it. Someone's probably going to recommend we use it. Um, academy, political theater, military cost, not bad. Um, I like more attack. What's over here though? Static warfare, max entrenchment, plus 10% is not bad. Reconnaissance would be, not, would be good as well. Let's just go consumption. Less supply consumption is just so good. Intelligence game. You know what? I almost never choose this one. Infiltration and tactic assault. Infiltration assault. 
We're currently in battle, so we have to wait for that one, maybe. But this one over here, tip of the spear, is not bad. Quick improvisation. Uh, it's not bad either. Professional Officer Corps is also very good, but we don't really need that one now. And that gives you more daily command power, but this one, Cavalry Attack. We're using Cavalry anyway, so it just makes sense to use it. So we'll go with that one. Over here, just go focus. I like to just go focus. But I like more Reconnaissance, too. Lots of Plan Consumption is very good as well. Well Planned Attack. But I don't ever choose this one, so let's get more Reconnaissance. Over here, let's get more Attack. Evaluation Assault. Oh, yeah. Make sure everyone's going in here. Cool. Not bad. So I think we're going to end it here. I mean, as you can tell, the allies are doing so well. But I don't really care. And we got to push into access. And i got to figure out exactly what we're going to be doing next in terms of the way we want to go for this campaign. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And who we want to be really on the throne. But if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. I also actually hopefully survive this wave of Axis enemies. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.